Hello and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the mobile app to connect to your personal cloud that we just set up earlier. Now, I apologize, I do only have an Android phone. Uh, this process will work on Android based phones and tablets and um, iPads and um, iPhones as well. Now this will work on some other tablets um, but there's a different method to do on those and I will show you how to do that. Um, I apologize, I mean I know this looks pretty small but uh, this should give you a basic idea as to what to do next. Now that we have the cloud set up uh, to do this all you have to do, uh, if you're on an Android tablet uh, or an Android phone, what you'll do is go to your Play Store. And what you want to do is, once you go into the Play Store, uh, you want to look for the MyCloud mobile app. If you're on iPhones or an iPad, go to the Apple Store and do the same thing. Look for the MyCloud mobile app. Now once you find it, uh, you'll see the icon. It'll look like this. And this is the MyCloud. This is by Western Digital Technologies Incorporated. Uh, what you'll do is go ahead and install. Now these are the permissions that the app is going to require. Go ahead and choose accept and it will begin the installation process. Now once it installs you'll come to a screen like this and it shows that everything's been installed and it's ready to go so all you want to do is go ahead and click open and this will bring up the account. Now it's going to bring you to the uh, the, more, the welcome screen. Now, just like with the computer, you have to agree with their uh, user license. Uh, this is the uh, user end user license agreement, so be sure to read that. And then when you're done, click agree. And this is the main page, uh, a cloud under your control. And like I said, you can access this anywhere, keep your content safe and private, and you can create a personal cloud for others. So we'll just go ahead. And this is most of the stuff that they're going to welcome you to. And this is one of the newer features. Now that you're at the sign-in screen, Go ahead and sign in to the account. Now, once you've signed in to your MyCloud account, uh, this ain't the server yet. Uh, this is your MyCloud.com uh, sign-in page that you have to sign into first. Now, this screen will come up. You're going to see the the device, uh, the NAS that we set up earlier, and as you can see, it's already been added to the account. Now, if you haven't added to the account yet, this is where you would add it to. Then just go ahead and uh, you'll tap OK. Now, here's where the setup part is. Uh, you can auto back up your photos and videos. Uh, this will automatically keep all your photos and videos backed up and organized. Now, you can choose on how to back up your data. You can use Wi-Fi only. Uh, if you're on a mobile phone, a smartphone, uh, like an Android or uh, an iPhone, you can also have it use your cellu cellular data. Now, depending on your data plan, uh, depending on your backup, it could use up your data plan. So. Uh, if you're connected to your Wi-Fi home hotspot, uh, that's fine. That's the best way to use it. Um, but if you're going to be using your cellular, uh, be sure, be, remember that 
If you have it connected to your cellular, if your phone is not connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot, it will use up your cellular data. So I'm going to go ahead and set mine for both. Then tap OK. Now it's going to ask you where you want to back it up at. You can choose public. You can choose WD Sync. Which I'll go ahead and choose WD Sync. And then you can decide as to where you want to uh, create a backup. Now if a folder here is not listed you can create one by clicking this plus sign down here at the bottom. And now I'll just go ahead and do auto backup. We'll go to public. And as you can see down here at the bottom it's going to back up. Now when the backup is finished now you can go back and look at your your files. So I can go back up here, tap on public, choose NAS. Now it comes back to the original screen. Go back to WD Sync. And there's my file, the third one down. Oop, wrong one. And there's all my pictures. All my pictures are now on the cloud. And this is how you can back up your files, your photos, your pictures, um, anything that you have on that phone uh, you know, that's stored, you can have it stored onto the cloud now. And you can also share it. Now you can also see these little lines up here at the top. Uh, you also where you can share. Uh, it takes voice commands. I can even op open up pictures. Uh, that's one of the computers that I had worked on before. That's another picture I did. Now if you click the three lines up here at the top, you'll get these. Uh, you can choose mobile devices that you got connected. You can manage your devices and services. You can do downloads. Shows your activities. Uh, you can show things that have been shared with you and things that you have shared with others. Uh, you can also go down here to settings. And this is how you can configure your automatic sync, uh, the intervals, how often it does it, uh, it let you know if you're running low on your data plan, uh, if you're using your cellular, uh, this will let you know if you're running low on your data plan. You know, your cache, uh, cache size which is two gigabytes, uh, you can clear the cache, uh, your uh, mycloud.com, that's where you can sign in. Uh, you can also check firmware updates, uh, your backup options, uh, you can also put a passcode lock on your phone, so you have to enter your passcode to use it. Thirty-party licenses and uh, analytics, uh, that's in case you experience any problems with the app. So the app comes in pretty handy. It does have quite a few things you can, you can change and update depending on your preferences. Um, let me go ahead and go back. And that's all there is to it. Now you can do the same thing on your iPad. It's similar to what I just did here. Um, I wish I had an Android tablet that was bigger, but I'm doing what I can do with what I have. Now many of you who has a Kindle, this screen should look familiar. Uh, this is my Kindle and I've been I got it to tinker, tinker around, working with tablets and stuff, and uh, even though it's not entirely based on Android, uh, this is specifically for Amazon. Uh, they have their own cloud, 
But what I want to do is if you want to access your personal cloud on tablets like a Kindle where it's not Android but it's not an iOS either. You can still be able to transfer your documents, your files, uh, your pictures, your videos that you created with your Kindle and put them onto the cloud. So what I'm going to do is show you how to access the, the account. Mostly what you have to do, this is not an app you have to install. Uh, you have to uh, use the web ad access to do this. So to do this, what you'll do is on the Kindle, we're going to go Silk, which is the internet browser. And we're going to go to uh, the same website, mycloud.com. Now this is just like the page that you would see on a computer version. So we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sign in. Now it brings you to your sign in screen. Um, so go ahead and sign in. As you can see now I'm signed in to my account. And I have access to all the files that are stored on my cloud. Now <clears throat> Uh, up here to the upper right is your email that you're signed into. Uh, this is just a web-based version. Now if you look over here, uh, you'll see these three icons. Uh, you'll see the cloud. Uh, you'll also see the, um, the grid where you can show grids. And you want to do is click on the upload cloud. Now here it shows you an application that you want to use on your on your uh, device. I'm going to do Prime Photos. This one here will only let me do my photos and my documents. I can also do contacts. Now here it shows you uh, the photos that I have on here, which ain't many. And all you have to do is select it. And then you'll see that it's starting to upload. So on the Kindles you can do uh, photos, documents, uh, your contacts. Uh, you can store them on the cloud. Uh, it's not a complete um, app like you saw a moment ago, but you still can transfer your pictures and your vi uh, your uh, videos and stuff from your Kindles and your other tablets to your cloud. Uh, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. I hope this video was helpful. Again, I apologize because um, I'm only working with what I have, but. Uh, I hope this information was helpful so you can start using your mobile uh, apps, your phones, and your tablets on your new personal cloud. Well, this has been a presentation by ES Repair. Thank you for watching.